What if you could change the decisions you regret in your life and see the outcomes of those choices with your very own eyes? The Altars tells the story of Jan Dolsky, a simple miner who survived a crash landing on a hostile planet. He quickly realizes that what was supposed to be a lifetime job opportunity turns into a desperate fight for his life. Yan will need to handle a large mobile base that's designed to be operated by an entire team of qualified personnel. Even worse, the planet Yan landed on revolves around the deadly scorching star. Escaping the sunrise is crucial for survival. Despite his best efforts, Yan simply lacks the time and skills to deal with all these problems on his own. But the planet Yan is stranded on is home to a mysterious substance called Rapidium. With its use and the help of the quantum computer on board, Yan is able to create alternative versions of himself. The Alters. Each one of them is the result of altering a crucial decision from Yan's past. The altars are a reflection of the questions he asks himself. What if I never left my hometown? What if I didn't drop out of college? What if I fought harder to save my marriage? Our altars have the necessary knowledge and skills that we desperately need to succeed. But they also come with their own goals, ambitions, and fears, all derived from their different life paths. And that can generate problems. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. Incompetence and coherent decision-making. A groundbreaking mission on the verge of failure. Damn, I just hope I don't f everything up again. You want a relationship that lasts, put some effort in it. Each Yan is a different person. It will be extremely difficult to keep everyone happy. You gotta learn how to say no sometimes. But we must do whatever we can, because as the mission goes on, the challenges will only pile up. Obstacles on the outside. Internal tensions that could prove to be even more dangerous. And with a ticking clock of the deathly sun behind our backs, the only way home is to press forward.
Won't you at least tell me what we're doing here? All I know is that it's serious. It's more than serious, Serena. It is dangerous. In my experience, the greatest harm often comes from the best intentions. The cycle is starting again. How many more times must we endure the vanity of the Nine? When there isn't a path to be found, make one. before, countless times, and so shall you be here again. In fact, you're here right now. I swore to protect this island with my life. But now the Mongols have stolen our home, killed our samurai. I will kill them all. come by during my confinement. My misguided captors want me to write a confession, betraying my fellow Shishi in exchange for a lighter sentence. I choose to use this paper to write to you instead. The choices we make are curious things. Some are made from the head, with an objective and destination in mind. Others are formed in the heart, when the path ahead is unclear. I count myself a lucky man, as for me, both are aligned. I do not write to ponder my own fate, however, but to send a message of hope. The plan we have been working towards is still in motion, 
relay this message to our allies and Ronin alike, for it is the latter we must win over to our cause. There are choices to be made soon, and it is their actions that will determine how this will unfold. Keep the flame of our rebellion burning bright, dear sister. Freedom and sovereignty for our beloved Japan is close. There are typical characteristics to a Ronin that I want players to experience through the game. A Ronin is a samurai who doesn't have a master. They explore various places, meeting diverse people. They don't spend much time in the same place, but they always achieve something important, often saving people in some way. They don't really have any strong convictions. Instead, they follow the choices that the player makes. I believe that fits perfectly with the freedom we wanted to give to players during their experience, and to create an open world. Open world has become extremely popular and commonplace in the action game genre. One of its charms is the feeling of exploration, as well as deciding the order to pursue tasks and being able to make your own choices. The Ronin has a blade twin who grew up with him. The bond between the two is the backbone of the game. You can't stop the war, no one can. This nation will descend into chaos. The Blades Twin is something that is almost the other side of the story. It's not about good and bad. It's more about something that is very different and contradicting the story of the hero. So writing the theme for this character actually was the most challenging for me. For the characters, we looked at the way they lived and their outlook on life and conveyed that in their appearance. For characters close to the Shogunate, we would keep an Edo style that resonates with the Shogunate. Alternatively, for the anti-Shogunate characters, we wouldn't hesitate to include Western influences to their styling, such as equipping them with rifles or have them already wearing leather shoes. For Western political forces, we insisted on designs that put forward that Occidental aspect. We wanted these characters to look real. Japan, the great white whale that's eluded all others. There are many characters during the Bakumatsu era, such as Perry, for example. Perry, <laughs> yeah. There are also characters from other nationalities. Usually, you would think it would create issues to have them fight, but you manage to make it blend smoothly within the story and the events. Fighting is such a bore. Our narrative thread ended up being the bond system. As we developed the bond system, the first aspect that started taking form was the strength of bond with other characters. I know. Tag along with me, will you? Ryoma evolves together with the main character from the beginning. He goes on to play a major role within the game. As we were creating him, we wanted to design the coolest image of Ryoma. Join us later 
And if the mood strikes you... The choices the player makes are key elements in changing the strength of bond forged with other characters, which goes on to affect the story. I'm going to need you on our side. If you choose to go pro Shogun, Katsura may become sort of an enemy. It's not fully the case though. You always oscillate between friend and foe. <laughs> Katsura is a good character to have as an ally, but also as an enemy, as he gives you that satisfaction of beating a boss. Yeah, that's true. You can end up with the opposite feeling towards him. That's good. If you go pro Shogunate, the anti Shogunate Katsura will definitely look to block you. Then along the way, you encounter Takamuriyama. The pro Shogunate suddenly becomes attractive. <laughs> <laughs> there are some beautiful characters on your journey. Yeah, there are. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. There's a real diversity of people in the game. It got me thinking that I would have liked living in that period. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered which side you would take? That's interesting. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I have. I'm more of the rustic type, so mm. I would have probably gone full on katana. A bit like Kondo Isama. I definitely think that after completing the game, players won't make the same choices for their second run. I also think that it makes it fun to talk to friends about it. <laughs> We felt obliged to make a game that we could enjoy ourselves. I believe that everybody put all their effort into making Rise of the Ronin a unique game with unique value. I truly believe that the team working so well together led to the high quality game we have achieved with Rise of the Ronin. We're on our way. Good luck, both of you. Briggs out. Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Copy that, pilot. The core worlds will lose faith in us. Faith unhinged is stoked by fear. The core worlds do not need to believe in us. They need to stand for justice. I've got an assignment for you back at Angel City. Our advance needs to be low profile and fast. You and Gila will hunt down and kill both Sarah Briggs and Jack Cooper. Hey kid, are you okay? You're gonna be taken care of. We've got something for you to eat and we'll keep you safe. We are going to need all the help we can get. If the IMC really is rebuilding the fold weapon, the next few months are going to get messy. Cooper? You get yourself ready. Whether or not you agree with the IMC, nothing is black and white. You choose a side, a tribe, a home. I intend on being on the winning side of history. I wish we could just come home with you to Angel City. Perhaps one day this war will be over and both our people will be at peace. Give up your spirit, kid. 
Did you give up yours? of an infestation here at the storage facility. We thought it was just rodents, but there's something else in here. There's nests. They're everywhere. We tried to take care of it ourselves, but things have escalated. The exterminators are our last hope. Please, help us before... 